Hey guys, what's up? Today I have another Pokemon Online battle that I had against Dark Bat, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so he leads off with his Bibanera. I lead off with my Rhyperior. I know he's probably going to go for the Ice Beam, so I switch out and go to my Hihi Daruma. He hits me with an Ice Beam, doesn't do a whole lot, but I hit him with a Flare Blitz that's able to take out his Bibanera. Now, since my HP is lower, I actually switch in into Daruma mode, which I really don't like a lot. But it's okay. So he switches into Gengar. He goes for the Dark Pulse and able to take out my Hihi Daruma. So right here I'm going to go into my Sazendora. And I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse. And he is probably going to predict that. So he is actually going to go into his Yurugamosu. And I get a critical hit which is bad for him. And two Dark Pulses are going to be able to take him out. I almost said Dragon Pulse there. Am I an idiot or something? So I go for the Dark Pulse there, and it's able to knock out his Yurugamosu. I don't even know if I'm saying these Gen 5 names right. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce them. I'll figure it out one day. So yeah. So he brings in his Roserade. And I just want to get out of there, so I go for the U-Turn. And I switch out and go into my uh, Repulsion. And I'm going to go for the Payback, but he goes for the Sleep Powder and puts me to sleep. So I'm just going to go for the Bulk Up um, for some reason. He hits with a Sludge Bomb, which it does a good chunk of damage, but not enough to go over half. So I wake up, get the Bulk Up up. He keeps going for the sludge bomb. I just hit him with a payback. And he lives with one HP. And for some reason I just went for the bulk up because I know I wasn't able to take him out anyway. So I go to my Gengar and go for the Shadow Ball. And that takes out his Rose Raid. So now he is going to go into his own Gengar. I am going to go for the Destiny Bond, but he goes for Hypnosis and actually misses. I go for the Shadow Ball and it's going to take out his Gengar. So now, this battle I had a couple of days ago, so I'm not exactly sure what happens. So sorry guys. So he goes into this Electric Dude. Which I just go for the Shadow Ball. He goes for the Protect the Scout, what move I have. I just go for the Shadow Ball again because that's a stab move, plus it'll do a lot of damage. So it does over half, which is good. He goes for the Wild Bolt. And he has the Electric Jewel, which raises up his Wild Bolt's power, so it's able to knock me out. So I go into my Rhyperior, and I'm going to go for the Earthquake. But he goes for the Protect the Scout, what move I'm going to do again. So let's go for the Earthquake one more time. But my biggest mistake right here was that I didn't actually know that this thing had Levitate. So he hit with a Flamethrower and my Earthquake doesn't affect him at all. So I just go for the Ice Fang and it almost takes him out again. And the Ice Fang is able to take him out. So he brings in a Gardevoir. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake, because I know it will do a pretty good amount of damage. He goes for the Psychic, and it actually takes me out, because my Repair doesn't have good special defense to begin with, so that really didn't help a lot that the Psychic Jewel powered up his Psychic move, so yeah. Right here, I was thinking about what to go into. So I go into my Sazendora, and I'm just going to go for the Dark Pulse, because I think that will be my best option. If I would have went for the Draco Meteor, I knew it would have did a lot too, so I was going to go for another Dark Pulse, because I get the Flinch, which is very good. The Dark Pulse is able to knock him out. So that was a really good game, Dark Bat. I had a lot of fun. After the battle, I asked if I could put it on YouTube. He said, sure. So, yep, that was a good game, and yeah, I had a lot of fun, and I will see you guys in the next battle.